The audio to text feature via Whisper in Subtitle Edit is getting a little bit better. Now, it's good to see these improvements and I'll show you what has improved. Now, I'll begin by showing you what used to happen before uh, the last few updates in Subtitle Edit 3.6.10 and the version I'm using is a beta version about uh, this beta version and you can go to the link below uh, the github.com releases and then uh, you go to the beta version. This was released about three hours ago, but you can always get the beta versions available for you to try them out. So those are the new features that are coming up and so on, bugs that were fixed, new subtitle formats added uh, before an official release is made. So I'm going to go to video, open a video file, click on that, and then go to video, audio to text via whisper, I've already downloaded everything that is required. And there's one new option here called auto adjust timings. I'll uncheck this so that we can get what we used to have uh, in the past. And I'll click on generate. It's going to take about 26 seconds and so on and so forth. Uh, but I want to show you the difference between when you have the auto adjust timings on and off. So we have the auto adjust timings off they're not available for this. So the result that we get is what we used to get. The text was everywhere. Like there's no timing as expected. So there we go. So the text begins somewhere here. It should begin somewhere here. So you have to kind of manually keep adjusting these and so on and so forth. Uh, the transcript itself and the subtitles look good and so on. But we'd rather have this. Now I'm going to open another instance of subtitle edit, just double click on this and then go to video, open video file, the same video and then now I'll click on video, audio to text via whisper and then make sure that auto adjust timings is available and then click on generate about 25, 26, 27 seconds for this three minute and three second audio clip or video clip uh, for this matter. So. I want you to see the difference and how this or how Whisper is improving. It's improving really, really well. And it's good to see this uh, inside Whisper. Hopefully it can help us speed our process, especially when we decide to use automatic audio to text. So 26 seconds and you can already see the difference. We already have the timings adjusted uh, right inside here. And if you actually play this with the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. Now, it obviously has a couple of things to learn and so on and so forth. But from the results that we've seen, this looks really, really good. Especially now that we don't have to have the text all the way up here. There's some good subdivisions and so on and so forth. Uh, I feel that once the official version comes out, we're going to be having some better results, uh, but I recommend that you just go to this website, uh, github.com and the releases section, test out what you see here. And if you think there's an issue, come to the issue section and issue or write an issue so that the creator can see what they need to fix and so on. So that's it. That's the new improvements, the outdoor time adjustments, and it's really, really helpful. Thanks for watching this video.